things get frozen. It happens. But not all of them are gorgeous men called Captain Rogers. Some of the things that wind up frozen are so creepy you'll wish they hadn't been preserved. These are the creepiest things found frozen in water. Number 20. 50 Year Old Mummified Remains of Climbers Three Mexican climbers disappeared on Pico de Orizaba in 1959. Their bodies were found more than half a century later. They spent 59 years under the snow on the highest peak in Mexico. This surreal case became relevant on March 1, 2015, when the group of mountaineers from Chauche Comula de Sesma found the mummified bodies by chance near the top of Sidlal Tepetl, popularly known as Pico de Orizaba. Luis Espinoza, a mountaineer who is now 81 years old, was one of the first to speak about the discovery of the mummified corpses, assuring that he had found three companions lost almost six decades ago. They found frozen in ice what no one was supposed to see. According to Espinosa, the bodies are those of engineer Enrique Garcia Romero, who his friends called El Calavera at 24 years old, Juan Espinosa Camargo, 17 years old, and the mountain expert Manuel Campos Perez, also known as the Green Indian. The three of them, together with a group of 16 mountaineers, began the ascent to the volcano through the municipality of Tlalchihuaca on November 1, 1959. The next day, they divided into two groups with the intention of reaching the top of Pico de Orizaba. But as they climbed, a glacier on the mountain moved more than 5,000 meters and buried four of the climbers. Only the body of Alberto Rodriguez was recovered. Now, with DNA tests, an official identification will be made. Possible relatives of two of them are already aware. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. They found frozen in ice what no one was supposed to see. Just look at this mysterious photo. Taken in Siberia, this image was taken by a fisherman during one of his trips. He stumbled upon this weird creature and was able to get a quick photo moments before it vanished. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. Number 19. Shrimp-like creature under Antarctic ice sheet. Although they occupy nearly 1.6 million square kilometers, ice sheets are amongst the most mysterious environments on Earth. So every moment life has been observed in these cold and dark habitats is a rare one. Hence the importance of a recent study according to which scientists would have discovered fragments of different new species in the Antarctic sea ice. A team of German researchers from the Alfred Wegener Institute for Polar and Marine Research was commissioned to carry out an interesting investigation when in May 2018 they decided to drill two holes with hot water about 200 meters deep in the sea ice of Antarctica, specifically under the Ekstrom ice sheet. It was there that they found fragments of the life of more than 75 species on the seabed. But how do these species survive under the sea ice? The study authors indicated that most of the animals found generally feed on phytoplankton and microalgae, but no plant or seaweed is capable of surviving in such extreme conditions, leading scientists to wonder how species survive in this environment. But what really baffled scientists was the shrimp-like creature they dug up. It was actually a lysian acid amphipod, or how they referred to it, a shrimp you'd enjoy having on your plate. Number 18. Battling Fish Found Frozen in Ice the brothers Anton and Alex Babich were at Lake Wawasee near Syracuse, Indiana, which due to low temperatures was frozen on the surface, when they found a spectacular scene. Frozen at the surface was a pikefish who was devouring a largemouth bass. The moment the pike began to eat the bass was literally naturally frozen, and these brothers took it upon themselves to freeze the moment for posterity by taking a photograph. The first thing you see was a piece of frozen bass, but as you get closer, you realize you're looking at two fish. Some theories have emerged about it. For example, it was said that a fisherman had probably caught the bass, but it seemed very small, so he returned it to the lake, already dead. Floating on the surface, the pike tried to eat it and froze. Others say that they were both dead and their bodies were simply found frozen, which seems unlikely. The image went viral and nobody believed the two brothers, so they went back to the lake for more pics. Real or not, there's no doubt that this is an incredible image. Number 17. Well-preserved woolly rhino found after 34,000 years frozen in Siberia. 
Russian scientists have found an Ice Age woolly rhinoceros in the permafrost of northern Russia. It is the best preserved specimen of its species to date, with most of its soft tissues still intact, including part of the intestines, hair, and a lump of fat. His horn also lays next to him. The woolly rhinoceros, which was found in the permafrost of Yakutia, Siberia in August 2021, is between 20,000 and 50,000 years old. Valery Plotnikov, a paleontologist at the Russian Academy of Sciences, explained that the woolly rhino was probably three or four years old when it died, most likely drowned. Major discoveries of mammoths, woolly rhinos, ice age foals, and cave lion cubs have been made in recent years as permafrost melts across vast areas of Siberia due to global warming. For example, in the same area where this woolly rhinoceros was found, another similar specimen was also recovered in 2014. The researchers dated that specimen, which they named Sasha, to 34,000 years old. But Siberia is not the only place on Earth affected by the melting caused by global warming. Two weeks prior to this discovery, a perfectly preserved female wolf cub dating from 57,000 years ago was found in Yukon, Canada with only her eyes missing and who probably died after her cave collapsed on top of her. Number 16. Iron Age Arrow Recovered from Melting Ice Patch a team of scientists has discovered a treasure trove of ancient artifacts in a patch of ice in Norway that climate change has uncovered, according to an article published on The Secrets of the Ice Portal by one of the authors of the find. The site is the Langfana Ice Patch in the Jotunheimen Mountains where the original settlers used to hunt. That's where archaeologist Reidar Marstein found a shoe in 2006. The shoe was thought to be as old as the Viking Age, but when radiocarbon tested, it turned out to be much older, 3,300 years old, placed it at the early Bronze Age. That find came as a real surprise and kick-started fieldwork in several locations, including Langfana, where they began work in 2014 and then in 2016. On the side of a mountain in the Jotunheimen Massif in the south of the Scandinavian country, archaeologists found a total of 68 arrows, some with arrowheads still attached, in addition to the shoe, textile garments, and reindeer bones. The finding represents a record number of partial and complete pieces found in a frozen site. According to radiocarbon dating, the oldest arrows date back to around 4100 BC and the most recent from 1300 BC. Number 15. Melting Norwegian Ice Reveals Hundreds of Vikings Artifacts we all love a good Viking story, don't we? Well, this one's for all the Viking enthusiasts out there. The mountains northwest of Oslo are some of the highest peaks in Europe and are covered in snow all year round. The Norwegians call them Jotunheimen, which means the home of the Jotnar, the giants of Norse mythology. But years of warm weather have now melted much of that snow and ice, revealing a mountain pass that mere mortals traversed for more than a thousand years and then abandoned some 500 years ago. Archaeologists working along the ancient ancient high-altitude route have uncovered hundreds of artifacts indicating that people used it to cross a mountain ridge from the late Roman Iron Age through the medieval period. But it fell out of use, perhaps due to worsening climate and economic changes, the latter possibly brought on by the devastating Black Death Plague in the mid-1300s. Researchers say the pass was once a cold-weather route for farmers, hunters, travelers, and traders. It was used primarily in late winter and early summer when several feet of snow covered the rugged terrain. Years of combing through the ice and snow of the pass have uncovered more than 800 artifacts, including shoes, pieces of rope, parts of an ancient wooden ski, arrows, a knife, horseshoes, horse bones, and a broken staff with a runic inscription which said Yoar's property, a Norse name. Some of these items, such as a Viking mitten and the remains of an ancient sledge, have not been found anywhere else. Number 14. Investigators find frozen bodies in 30-year-old plane crash. Saita Flight 011 was an air accident that occurred on Sunday, August 25, 1976, when a Vickers Discount 785D four-engine turboprop aircraft from Saida Airlines crashed into the Chimborazo volcano when it was flying from Quito to Cuenca. The route is considered quite dangerous due to the natural obstacle of the snow-capped Chimborazo, which is 6,319 meters above sea level and 150 kilometers from the capital. The pilot's last contact with the control tower reported that he was flying over the city of Ambato, but then all communication with the plane was lost. 
On board the aircraft were four crew members and 55 passengers. As a consequence of the impact, the ship was hidden between the snow-capped glacier. The remains of the ship were missing for 26 years, which gave rise to all kinds of speculation about the reasons for the loss of the plane and its occupants and a controversy over its subsequent discovery. The impact site was declared a graveyard and the remains were not recovered. It was then discovered by Flavio Armas and Pablo Chiquiza in October 2002. The two men, who are members of Nuevos Horizontes, a mountaineering club, made an ascent to the snowy mountain by an almost unexplored route. The first day, they reached the base of the mountain and spent the night. On the second day, they continued the ascent, and at 5,550 meters, they ran into the remains of the plane. Impressed by such a finding, they took samples of cans and newspapers that, despite the 26 years that have elapsed, were still legible. Number 13. Headless Chicken Monster Filmed for the First Time in Antarctic Ocean The mysterious deep-sea creature Anipniastes eximia, also known as the Headless Chicken Monster, has been filmed in the waters of the Southern Ocean off East Antarctica. The unusual animal, which had only been filmed before in the Gulf of Mexico, was detected using an underwater camera system developed for commercial longline fishing by the Australian Antarctic Division. The head of the program, Dirk Wellsford, said in a statement that the cameras are capturing important data that's being sent to the international organization that manages the Southern Ocean, the Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources. Some of the images that they're recovering from the cameras are impressive, including species that we have never seen in this part of the world. The footage has taken place at a depth of 3,000 meters. This sea cucumber in particular has earned a plethora of different fun nicknames due to its unique and strange shape. Some call it the Spanish Dancer, the Swimming Sea Cucumber, or the Pink See-Through Fantasia. Species in this genus have developed webbed, swimming, fin-like structures at the front and back of their bodies, which enable them to swim up off the surface of the sea floor and to journey as much as 3,300 feet up into the water column. This is thought to help the animals move to new feeding grounds and avoid predators. Number 12 frozen dead body of a soldier found after 50 years. The body of a member of the Indian Air Force and the remains of an IAF plane that crashed more than 50 years ago have been recently found in the northern Indian state of Himachal Pradesh. The wreckage was found when a team of climbers was carrying out a cleanup campaign at the Chandra Bhaga 13 summit and suddenly spotted the frozen body and the wreckage of the aircraft. The AN-12 aircraft, built by the former Soviet Union, went missing on February 7, 1968, after the pilot decided to turn back when he was flying from Leh to Chandigarh due to extreme weather. The plane was flying over the Rotong Pass in Himachal Pradesh when radio contact was lost, defense sources said. The discovery was made on the Dhaka Glacier located at an altitude of approximately 18,000 feet above sea level, team leader Rajiv Rawat reported. They first stumbled upon parts of the destroyed plane, which was followed by the discovery of the frozen body of a soldier lying head down. The hand and hair were virtually intact, despite the fact that 50 years had passed since the crash. The cleanup expedition was organized by the Mountaineering Foundation of India and the Oil and Natural Gas Corporation to collect rubbish left behind by tourists and mountain climbers at high altitudes. Number 11. A mysterious hole has appeared in the middle of Antarctica. A mysterious hot hole in the waters of the Antarctic intrigues scientists. So much so that they sent a team of scientists led by experts from the University of Washington in Seattle, United States to investigate. It was the first in-depth study of the kind that would explain the causes and processes that lead to the formation of this type of hole, now popularly known as polynias. The holes that appeared in the ice of the Weddell Sea in 2016 and 2017 attracted intense curiosity from scientists and the media. Although even larger gaps had formed decades earlier, this was the first time that oceanographers had the opportunity to truly monitor the hole in the sea ice during the Antarctic winter. The study on the 2016-17 Polynia combines satellite images of sea ice cover, robotic mobile devices, and even sensory-equipped seals to understand this phenomenon more deeply. The research explores why this hole appeared in just a few years and what role it could play in global ocean circulation. A Polynia can form near the coast when the wind pushes the ice, but it can also appear far from the coast and remain there for weeks or months, where it acts as an oasis for penguins, whales, and seals to emerge and breathe. 
The study shows that when winds around Antarctica move closer to the shore, they facilitate more upwelling mixing in the eastern Weddell Sea. In that region, a seamount known as the Maud Rise forces the surrounding seawater to shift, leaving a spinning vortex at the top. Number 10. 24,000-year-old zombies revived from deep freeze. A group of Russian researchers have discovered bedelloid rotifers, which are microscopic animals that have come back to life after spending 24,000 years frozen in the Siberian permafrost. After this successful event, it's been shown that some microorganisms can endure long periods of cryptobiosis, a state in which metabolic processes are almost completely stopped. You can't see bedelloid rotifers with the naked eye, but they've been on Earth for millennia. These multicellular species are found in freshwater and moist soil and are known to be extremely hardy. Previous research had shown that these creatures could survive up to 10 years frozen, but this research marks a new milestone. The experiments carried out showed that this microscopic animal was able to resist the formation of ice crystals when frozen, suggesting that it has some mechanism to protect its cells and organs from damage at extremely low temperatures. What's clear is that after the extreme conditions to which the specimen was subjected, it restarted after its last awakening during prehistory. Behind this finding is Stas Marvin from the Laboratory of Soil Cryology at the Institute of Physiochemical and Biological Problems in Soil Sciences in Pushchina, Russia. To get the samples, the team of researchers used drilling platforms in remote parts of the Arctic, and from there they recovered the bedelloid rotifers to study them. Number 9 three members of the Franklin Expedition. Franklin's lost expedition was an unsuccessful voyage of British exploration of the Arctic led by Captain Sir John Franklin, which set out from England in 1845. Franklin was a Royal Navy officer and experienced explorer who had previously participated in three expeditions to the Arctic, the last two as commander-in-chief. His fourth and last expedition began when he was already 59 years old, with the objective of traversing and exploring the last stretch of the Northwest Passage, still unexplored at the time. Franklin and all 128 crew members died when their ships became trapped in the ice in Victoria Strait near King William Island in the Canadian Arctic. Pressured by Franklin's wife and the relatives of the disappeared, the British Army began the search for the lost expedition in 1848. In 1854, explorer John Ray, who was conducting a scientific exploration from the Arctic coast of Canada to the southeast of King William's Island, was able to contact the Inuit, who told him some stories about the crew of the Franklin expedition and the they also gave back some of the crew's personal belongings that they still had. But it wasn't until September 7, 2014 that one of the two missing ships was found in an expedition by Parks Canada researchers in a remotely controlled underwater vehicle. The remains of the ship were found near King William Island in the territory of Nunavut. On September 12, 2016, the second ship, the HMS Terror, was finally found near King William Island. Number 8 40,000-year-old wolf's head found preserved in ice. A neighbor in the Abiski district of northern Yakutia in Siberia found during the summer in 2018 a preserved head of a Pleistocene wolf that died about 40,000 years ago. The head is perfectly preserved, which is incredibly rare. The most surprising thing, though, is its size, 15.7 inches long. The modern gray wolf's head, in comparison, measures 9.1 to 11 inches. In addition to its monstrous size, the head retains intact mammoth-like fur and impressive tusks. According to scientists, the specimen was two to four years old when it died. This finding will allow scientists to study and compare its DNA with modern wolves to understand how the species has evolved from the Ice Age to today and try to reconstruct its real appearance. Along with the wolf, the scientists presented an immaculately well-preserved cave lion cub. Their muscles, organs, and brain are in good condition, which will allow scientists to assess what their physical abilities were and also determine the morphological differences compared to today's lions and wolves. The cave lion cub named Spartak is also about 15.7 inches long and weighs about 800 grams. Scientists believe the cub died shortly after birth. The recent discovery stems from the remains of three cave lions in 2015 and 2017 by the same team. Number 7. Found the remains of Andre's Arctic Expedition. 
Andre's Arctic Balloon Expedition of 1897 was an effort to reach the North Pole in which all three Swedish members of the expedition perished. S.A. Andre, Knut Frankel, and Nils Strindberg. Andre, the first Swedish balloonist, proposed a trip in a hydrogen balloon from Svalbard to Russia or Canada, passing, hopefully, directly over the North Pole on the way. The scheme was met with patriotic enthusiasm in Sweden, a northern nation that had fallen behind in the race for the North Pole. Andre ignored many of the early signs of the dangers associated with his balloon scheme. Being able to steer the balloon to some extent was essential for safe travel, but there was plenty of evidence that the drag rope steering technique he had invented was ineffective. However, Andre risked the fate of the expedition on tow ropes. Worse still, the Ornan Polar Balloon was delivered directly to Svalbard by its manufacturer in Paris without having been tested. When measurements showed that it was leaking more than expected, Andre refused to acknowledge the alarming implications. After the three men took off, the balloon rapidly lost hydrogen and crashed into the ice pack after only two days. The explorers were uninjured but faced a grueling journey back south through the drift ice landscape. Inadequately dressed, equipped, and prepared, and shocked by the difficult terrain, they failed to reach safety. When the Arctic winter closed in on them in October, the group ended up exhausted on the deserted Kvitoya, which means White Island in Svalbard, and died there. For 33 years, the fate of the expedition remained one of the Arctic's unsolved enigmas. The fortuitous discovery in 1930 of the expedition's last camp created a media sensation in Sweden, where the dead were mourned and idolized. Number 6. Frozen Deer Saved by Locals in Kazakhstan this unfortunate, adorable little deer was having a very bad day. Due to the onset of winter, he suddenly froze while he was walking on an icy road. His entire face and most of his body was completely covered in ice and snow. The poor creature couldn't even open his eyes. You can imagine how terrifying that must be, especially when you're prey for so many powerful predators lurking around. In the video, you can see that as he hears the people getting closer, he tries to run away just to freeze again due to the weight of the ice on his fur. He is absolutely terrified and probably exhausted. Thankfully, a group of local people decided to help him out. They managed to catch it, which wasn't that much of a difficult feat due to the animal not being able to run or see. They gently removed the ice from his body. Of course, this act gave great relief to the poor young deer. Without human intervention, he probably would have frozen to death on the side of the road, alone and scared. That is no way to leave this world for any living creature. This situation happened due to the heavy snowfall in Kazakhstan that winter. In fact, at the time this video was taken, it was minus 56 degrees. Number 5. 5,300 year old corpse. In 1991, after the collapse of a semi-melted glacier in the Oxal Alps between Austria and Italy, a body of a man was discovered who, from the beginning, was thought to be a missing mountaineer. He was not by a long shot. Subsequent analysis performed by expert scientists showed that he had been dead for 5,300 years. It was Otzi, the man with the 61 tattoos. The Iceman was well equipped for the cold. According to an analysis of the composition of his clothing, researchers have concluded that at the time of his death, he had a bearskin hat, a cover for roe deer arrows, and a goatskin coat, among other pieces. More than 5,000 years ago, Otzi walked through the Italian Alps dressed in clothing made from the skins of at least five different species of animals, including the roe deer and the brown bear. Scientists have reached this conclusion after sequencing the mitochondrial genomes of nine fragments of leather from his clothing. Two German climbers were the discoverers of the mysterious body found at 3,200 meters of altitude. It was September 19, 1991. After ruling out that it was a modern mountaineer, the remains turned out to belong to a natural mummy with an age of 5,300 years and was quite well preserved thanks to the ice. Number 4 found the frozen body of George Mallory on Everest. One of the great enigmas of the mountaineering world is whether George Mallory was the first to summit Everest before anyone else. Even before Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay, who went down in history for having achieved it in 1953, while the former, had he successfully completed his climb, would have reached the record 29 years earlier in 1924. There are opinions for and against, but the one who really could have cleared up our doubts never had the opportunity, since he died along with his partner, Andrew Sandy Irvine, on the Northwest Ridge. In 
fact, his well-preserved remains were discovered 521 meters from the roof of the world by American mountaineer Conrad Anker in 1999. With several broken bones, Irvine is still missing. Now, more fuel has just been added to the fire with the revelation made by Tom, son of mountaineer Frank Smith, a pioneer of Everest ascents in the 1930s. Tom was preparing a book about his father's sporting adventures and was consulting copies of some of his father's old letters when he came across a surprise. An epistle to Edward Norton, leader of Mallory's expedition, in which he told him that he had found the Irvine ice axe, which he interpreted as a clue about the exact spot where he and Mallory had died in 1924. So what do you think? Was George the first man to reach the highest point on Earth? Number 3. Missing Swiss Couple Found Frozen in the Alps 75 Years Later on the morning of August 15, 1942, Marceline and Francine Dumoulin left their house very early. While the bombs of World War II thundered over half of Europe, the Swiss canton of Vala, where Chandelin is located, was a haven of peace. Marceline, the village shoemaker, and his wife Francine, who was the teacher at the small school, supplemented their salaries by raising a modest herd of cows. In summer, the cattle climbed to the top of the Le Dablere Massif, where the grass was juicier, although this meant having to go up to watch the cattle from time to time. The only way to get there was, and still is, through a glacier, the San Floran, at an altitude of 2,615 meters. The couple, who had seven children between the ages of 3 and 11, said goodbye to them, promising that they would return that same night, or if they were too late, the next morning. With a hug and a kiss to the little ones, they left the house, and that was the last time they were seen alive. Since 1926, more than 280 people have disappeared in that same area, an anomaly in statistics that no one can explain and that can't be due to just cracks in the ice. The bodies were missing until recently. A worker found them while doing routine maintenance near a slew of trendy ski resorts at 8,500 feet above sea level. Number 2. The Perfectly Preserved Yucca Mammoth Mummy the carcass of a small mammoth nicknamed Yucca has been found in good condition trapped in the ice of Siberia. The animal's body shows signs of having been partially dismembered by humans at least 10,000 years ago. The body and its skin are in such good condition that part of the meat is intact and the original color of the meat and the light-colored fur can be seen. This is the first time that hairy mammoth remains have been found in such good condition. Yucca was discovered in Siberia as part of an expedition involving the BBC and the Discovery Channel. If the study confirms the preliminary results, it would be the first mammoth carcass to reveal signs of interaction with the human race in the region. Although carbon dating is still in progress, the researchers believe that Yucca died at least 10,000 years ago, although it may be much longer. The animal was about two and a half years old when it died, according to information extracted from its teeth and tusks. According to these conjectures, Yucca fell down, breaking one of its hind legs. At that moment, the humans would have come into play, taking the opportunity to dismember the parts of the animal that they could use. Number 1. Sacrificed Incan Children the city of Salta in Argentina is the highest site with bodies and archaeological objects in the entire planet, and it is home to the best preserved mummies in the world. They were found in the Lolai Laco volcano in the Andes mountain range right on the border with Chile. They contain all of their organs and their blood. They studied them through computed tomography. They have enormous scientific potential. They are genetic carriers of the Inca cultural history, and they're the result of the most important ceremony practiced by this ancient people, the offering of human lives. They had consumed chicha, which is corn alcohol, and that's why they were asleep when they were buried. After the long walk to the top of the mountain, they froze to death in their grave. In this case, there was no violence in the offering. In other instances, the mummy has a spear in the shoulder blade. El Nino, who was around seven years old, is believed to have died before reaching the top because he was found buried already tied up. The maiden is perhaps the most impressive of the three mummies. Through a capsule that protects her, you can see the young woman who was 15 years old. The Polkos, closed camelid leather shoes that the children wear deserve special mention because they speak of the divine status attributed to them. According to Inca belief, in order to enter a sacred place, ordinary people had to take off their shoes. They, instead, were buried with their shoes on. 
As you can see, the ice keeps many fascinating and sometimes dark secrets. Of all the amazing things found frozen in this list, which one is your absolute favorite? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.